Hey guys, it's Cooper DVS, and uh, it's the moment of truth, the 100 uh, subscriber special um, drawing. Uh, I'm a little under the weather. Uh, I'm not feeling my best, um, uh, but we're gonna do this anyway. I don't know if it's allergies or something. I usually don't have allergies, but ah, spring is a bitch. <laughs> uh, so, and especially in Michigan. Uh, so anyway. Everybody's in this hat, and I don't know if you can see, but the hat, I'll just show this, is a Cobra hat. It's a golf uh, golf brand, so that's why I have it. And uh, basically, I'm going to answer every question, and uh, I'm going to pull out a pull out a question, and that person is eliminated from the contest, um, but uh, I'm going to answer the question, and then uh, once I get to the last person, I'll, I'll pull theirs, read the question. They're the winner, of course. Now, one, uh, one thing is uh, you have to contact me. Um, if I pull your name as number one, you send me a message with your address. Um, that way, you know, because I, I, I only want to really do this to people that watch my videos. Um, so you have to watch this to know. Um, so we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, well, I don't know who's going to win. I had to downsize the prize a little bit for shipping reasons. Um, but I'm just getting rid of a few uh, stupid games anyway. So, uh, all right. Oh. Son of a bitch. Hey guys, sorry, sorry about that. I um, I dropped the hat full of things. I got all the name tags up. Uh, so everything's good. Um, so let's go ahead and start the drawing. Uh, I think I had about 15 or 20 entries. Uh, so let's get started. Remember, if I draw your question, that means you're eliminated. Uh, so, um, and then the last person I draw is the winner. Uh, so first question is by... Uh, Damien Da, what is your bowling average? I subbed you back when you had, like, 15 subscribers because you had mentioned bowling. Um, I used to be in a bowl big into bowling but moved up to an adult league and lost interest. Uh, my bowling average is, uh, about 140 or 135. Um, I used to be higher, like, up in the 150s. Um, but I've just been sucking ass. Like, just sucking ass this year. Uh, I don't know why. A uh, new bowling alley, maybe? I, I, I don't care. Uh, I don't really care much for bowling too much. Uh, I'd much rather play golf, and maybe that's why I don't do so well anymore. All right, next question is from Mr. TKD Dude. What is one game that you would that you were looking forward to when it was released and you were disappointed? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, well, uh... Well, see, most games that I really anticipate, I usually will pre-order. Um, I will usually pre-order, uh, and I, I've i never really been super disappointed, because most games that I look forward to and pre-order, I already know enough about to know that it's going to be a pretty good game. So, <clears throat> uh, well, I, I guess one example that was a pretty decent example would be uh, Modern Warfare 2. I uh, had pre-ordered that game, and I really didn't like Call of Duty much, but I saw that this game looked pretty fun, got it, beat it, uh, hated the hated multiplayer. Uh, in fact, after you beat the campaign, um, there's really not much left to do besides that special ops, uh, spec ops, uh, and, and, and that sort of gets old sometimes. So I actually got rid of that game within a few weeks, and uh, I, I just don't care for it. And uh, same thing happened with uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops. I actually bought that, and... Uh, ended up selling it. I, I think I'm done with Call of Duty. Uh, I've said that before, but I, I think it's just, it's it has run its course and it's dead to me, basically. Uh, next question is from... Oh, I'll grab two on accident. Uh, next one is from Beave3LLL. I, I don't know if that's how you say it or not. Maybe I wrote it down wrong. Um, his question is, what are your five favorite games from five different consoles? Yikes, that's a tough one. Uh, where's that question? I got? Let me make sure I fold it back up. Uh, five favorite games for five different consoles. Yikes. Uh, well, I, just five random consoles. I guess the Xbox 360, I'd probably pick uh, either Halo 3 or Halo Reach. I really just enjoy both of those games. Um, so we'll say Halo Reach, I guess. Uh, for the Wii... I really enjoy Wii Sports. I know that's a shitty answer, but that's a fun game. Uh, maybe Super Mario Galaxy, or uh, maybe Smash Brothers. Uh, I really enjoyed Super uh, Mario Galaxy, though, so I'll, I'll, that'll be my answer. Um, Nintendo 64, um, I guess I'll go uh, Super Mario 64, definitely. 
um, uh, Sega 32X, uh, Knuckles Chaotix, that's an easy one, well, so far, of the ones I've played, um, and then another random console, uh, G Genesis, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, probably, uh, I just love that game, it's very simple, very fun, I love it, uh, next question is from Metallica's P-Man, yep, uh, if you could own a box system and every game for it box, what would it be and why? Um, that one is actually somewhat easy. It's a uh, Super Nintendo. Um, actually, the Super Nintendo is one of the only uh, classic game consoles I don't have boxed. I have the Master System, uh, the NES, two Genesis consoles. Um, I'm missing the uh, Super Nintendo. Damn it, you know. Um... But I digress. <laughs> um, and why every game box for it? Um, because the games usually go for a lot of money when they're boxed. Like games like uh, Earthbound, uh, you know, uh, the Final Fantasies, um, Castlevania, Turtles in Time, Contra, games like that, My Metroid, Mario RPG, all that garbage. They go for a lot of money new. I believe I just got an instant message on Facebook. Uh, anyways, uh, that was a good question, actually. Uh, next one. Is from FGV112. What is your best, favorite, awesomest memory of video games from your childhood? Um, that's not too tough a question. I, I, it would have to be when I was a kid. Uh, I was probably like four or something, and I uh, it might have even I might have been three actually. Um, I beat Super Mario Brothers. Uh, the first one I beat the first world for the first time. World one. Uh, I beat Castle 1-4. I remember running out of my room screaming. You know, I was all excited. Um, now that's a walk in the park, no problem. In fact, that game has kind of gotten easy. I don't know. I, I should probably play that game. I haven't played that game in a long time. All right, next question is from... 666 Devil's Advocate. Ooh. Uh, how do you feel about clone systems? Good, cheap alternative, or a knockoff that can't compare? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um... Both, I'd say. Uh, it's a cheap alternative, of course, and it also can't compare. Um, now, when I, if I, I don't have any, well, I have a portable Genesis console that's sort of a clone, um, but it has the Sega logo or a Sega name and everything. It's, it's licensed by Sega. Um, but I guess if you're talking about like that retro Gen 3 thing that plays all three Genesis, Sega, or Genesis, SNES, and NES, um, the only reason I would ever get one of those is to save space. Yeah, um, that would be the only reason to get one. Um, because 100% on of the time, every time, no doubt, the actual hardware is always better. You know, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. A Super Nintendo is way better than uh, a retro Gen 3 or whatever. Um, well, that's my opinion. Um, but I think a lot of people will agree. Um, but they're all a ch they are a cheap alternative. Uh, you know, to buy a Genesis, a uh, Super Nintendo, and an NES, that'll cost you around like 75, 100 bucks. Um, and to buy one of those uh, consoles, I don't know how much they are, but I would imagine they're cheaper. Um, so it is a cheaper alternative. Um, but also, uh, to, to save space, it is a good idea. If you have like a ton of consoles and you want it all hooked up at once, um, that would be a good alternative. Uh, that was also a really good question. I dropped one. Uh, next is from Team Old School 21. If you were to play one console that you have every game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, probably, uh, probably the Super Nintendo, because it has games like, uh, Super Mario World, uh, Yoshi's Island, Contra 3, Mario RPG, Metroid, uh, Mario Kart, um, Castlevania, games like that I could just play for a long time. Doom, even, even though it's shitty. <laughs> uh, next question is from... Crazy Pat 26101 I believe. Yep. Uh, what is your favorite console and favorite game for that console? Um, favorite console is probably either the Xbox 360 or the Super Nintendo. Um, if it were the Xbox 360, I believe I answered that with some other question. I'd probably pick Halo Reach. Uh, but let's say Super Nintendo, I'd probably pick... You know, I'd probably pick some RPG. I haven't played a lot of RPGs. The only one I really have even is um, Super Mario RPG. Um, I don't know, maybe like Earthbound or Final Fantasy. I'd pick one of those uh, because they're long games and uh, a lot of replay value kind of. Maybe some sort of RPG. Maybe like Secret of Mana or Ill Illusion of Guy. I want to get Lufia. 
Those games look fun. Alright, next question is by... <coughs> uh, eat, think, blink. Um, do you have a flat screen TV? If so, have you ever hooked up a Sega or anything to it? I have one and I'm afraid it might mess up my TV. Uh, yes, I do have a flat screen and yes, I have a... Uh, I've had a Sega hookup to it. I have a uh, Super Nintendo in there right now. Uh, I've had my NES. Dreamcast is on it right now. Um, it does not do anything to your TV. Um, as far as to my, it's not done anything to my TV. Um, I would not worry about it. Although I will say this, um, the games do look better on the older TVs. Um, I, don't, I don't know why that is, but they do tend to look better. Um, so, but it does not harm your TV, as far as I'm aware. It's never harmed my TV. You're, you're all, you're all set. Next question is by Nintendo Love 27. What is your least favorite handheld system and why? Least favorite handheld system and why? Oh, um, well, I don't really dislike. I'm not a big fan of the Game Boy. You know, I know it's a good system, but I just I just don't play it much because of its uh, lack of color. The Game Boy Color is fine. You know, the Game Boy's not bad or anything. It's just I don't get into it much. Um, if I had to pick one console that I really dislike the most, it's probably the PSP. And the, the reason I don't like the PSP is because I don't really care for Sony. Um, I'm not a big Sony fan. Uh, I haven't been. I mean, the PS1 is a is a fine console, um, but I feel like the PS2 was just cheap. Uh, the PS1 I felt was cheap too, um, but the PS2 even more so. And then the PS3 I just never got into. So, uh, so uh, I, I I'd have to say the PSP. All right, next one is uh, Anonymous Revelations. How many games and systems do you own now? How many games and systems do I own now? Yikes. Uh, I, you know, I haven't done a count in a long time. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, uh, you know, 8, and I, uh, probably around 11 or 12 consoles, maybe 13 or 14 if you count, like, uh, the Genesis Model 1, 2, and the CDX, that's 3. Um, so, I don't know, probably around 12 or 15. Actually, you know what? It's probably even more than that, counting my uh, Dreamcast, my Wii, and Xbox. If you count the Game Boys and stuff, that's around. I'm closer to 20, I guess. Quite a few. And as far as games, you know, I've I've, I've done an official count, but it's been a while. I'd say somewhere around five or six hundred. It might be more. Um, if I do an official count, I'll put the link right here, <laughs> or right here, maybe. Maybe I'll put it down here. Maybe it'll be over here. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I can do about that. All right. Uh, how many you got? One, two, three, four, five left. This one is from Video Game Junkie ninety nine. Um, if your house was burning down and you could save one item, what would it be? Um, well, I assume he means video games. Um, otherwise, I'd save like my dog or my car or something. Well, I don't know. Maybe your cell phone would be in the dog in the car. Um. I don't know, I guess if I were to save something, I'd pick my most expensive item. Um, or maybe one that was the hardest to get, which would probably be my CDX. Oh, that was hard. It, was, well, it wasn't hard to get, because my friend found it at a garage sale. But that'd probably be the toughest to replace. Although I have that boxed master system, it'd be a tussle between those. Um, but you know, there's always going to be super Sega CDXs on eBay, I, I feel... Um, to find a boxed uh, master system again, that, that that might be tough. Actually, I bought them separate. I got I did a trade with the Atari Junkie on the box, uh, and the reason I'm looking over here is because that's where uh, my boxes are. Yeah, that's the one. I that's, I probably have to pick the uh, master system, boxed master system. That's a tough question, and let's hope it doesn't happen. Uh, next one is by. Ooh, this is a big one here. Uh, Goffman. Jeff, I know his name's Jeff, I believe. So, uh, Jeff, this question is, seeing you are uh, a golf fan, I thought it would be appropriate to ask uh, a question related to it. Now, I don't know much about golf, but here goes nothing. What is your favorite golf game for any system? Uh, favorite golf game for any system? I've played a lot of golf games. I've played Hot Shots. I really like the Hot Shots games. Um, but if I were to pick a favorite, probably Mario Golf for the uh, Game Boy Color. Um, it's like an RPG kind of golf game. It's really fun. I can't get enough of it. Whenever I'm bored, I can always pop it in and, and play a couple tournaments and uh, really just have fun with it. Um, some other good ones are Mario Golf Toadstool Tour for the uh, the GameCube. 
Um, the Wii Sports Golf is fun for me. The Tiger Woods series, of course, is fun. Um, but I, I'd say overall is um, that uh, Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. Also, uh, this game called Tee Off for the game uh, for the Dreamcast. Um, that's a really fun <coughs> Hot Shots type game. All right, uh, so there are three questions left. Um, did I already answer this? Yeah, I did. What are your five favorite games from five different consoles? I already answered that. How the hell did that get back in there? Um, Alright, well, there are just two left. Um, and this one is... In television, dude. It says, uh, who would win in a fight? Predator or Terminator? Predator. He's my man. Uh, no, I'm a huge Predator fan. And uh, since there's only one question left, uh, that person should know who the winner is. But uh, I'm a huge Predator fan. Uh... Always have been, always will be. The Terminator is awesome, uh, but I, I'd go for Predator. And the winner is, everybody, Neo Flynn. Neo Flynn. This guy, uh, real cool guy. He um, he was one of my first subscribers, I think. I'm pretty sure he was. Uh, well, regardless, he's the winner. Neo Flynn, congratulations. And um, what am I doing here? Uh, oh, yeah, reading his question. Yeah, God, what a name. <laughs> um, what is your most prized item in your collection? Um, prized item, prized item. I don't know, I'm, I'm really liking the box Genesis. Um, you know, it's, it, well, let me reword his question, I guess. If I were to put something, one thing for my collection on display... I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I guess it'd be like a Video Game Junkie 99's question about if my house are burning down and I could save one thing. Probably the Master System that's boxed. Uh, I guess I'd pick that. Um, uh, and this, he asked another question in case his got asked uh, before. Um, and a lot of the questions were similar, but I, I, I didn't really feel like redoing uh, him. Um, and he said, if you were stuck on a, uh, on an island with and you magically had power, um, with one game and one system, what would it be? Well, if I have power, do I have internet? If I have internet, then it's going to be Xbox 360, Halo Reach. I can have Xbox Live. Um, and then maybe I could get unstranded because I could tell people where I'm at. That's thinking ahead right there. Um, <laughs> um, but if I were to pick, like, another console of... I don't know. I, I Maybe, like, a, a console that a good port of Doom is on. Um, or like a PC maybe, like, does that count, PC, PC with Doom, or maybe an original Xbox has Doom on it, is that hell the 360 has Doom on it, um, probably something like that, I would, I would, cause that's my, one of my favorite games ever, or maybe, maybe a game with a, like a long RPG, like I was saying before, um, something like that, okay guys, well that's it, that's my 100 subscribers special, I want to thank every single one of you that has subscribed, in fact, I think when I'm recording this, I have around 110 or 15, um, so it's you know it's steadily growing and maybe soon we'll be doing a 200 sub contest. Um, I don't know if I said this before, but I ha I will have to shrink the uh, the prize a little bit or at least try and make it more compact, um, which I think I can do uh, just to get into a smaller package. So um, everybody who entered, thank you, thanks for supporting my channel, uh, supporting me, um, and to everybody uh, everybody out there, thanks again and congratulations to Neil Flynn. And in television, dude came in second, so he was really close. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, whatever. Enough blabbling. Uh, thanks for watching.